Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, Mongo got another dehumidifier here that no longer making water. Oh, this one been refurbished before. Mongo actually fixed this one a long time ago. Had a broken cord, so put a new cord in it. Used to be Mongo's neighbors a long, long time ago. Slide our bucket out. They used it in a basement and never cleaned the filter. That filter in good shape. Clean out the filter, clean out the coils, got it running again. And it was a pretty good, reliable machine for a while, but now it's no longer making water. Their part number, just for reference, in case you got the same or something. We gonna take her apart, plug her in, and verify what's going on. Make sure to always keep the dehumidifier in this upright position. Don't put it on its side all the way, or the front or back all the way, but down here, there's always a couple screws hidden, one there, one there. And our faceplate can come right off. Just watch it, because this is your control circuitry wires and your humidity sensor. We did not have to take the sides or back panels off of this machine. So we'll plug our machine in. Now the machine automatically came on and said the bucket's full. So we gotta put our bucket in there. And now the machine kicks on because it senses the bucket. So now we just wait and see if the coils get cold. Well, it finally kicked the compressor on. This is the intake right here. And it's just starting to get cold. There's the frostiness coming. This is the exit of the frosty area. Because this heat exchanger is supposed to get cold. The one behind it gets hot. So this is the in essence hot. Mongo's already been in here before. This is that temperature sensor or the frost sensor. Normally that sensor's way down here. Well that's the exit of the heat exchanger. So it wouldn't even sense that it's cold until the entire thing is ice. And that was the first main problem this one had. This whole thing would turn into a block of ice because it wouldn't shut the machine off until this spot here got icy. So Mongo moved the sensor to the intake. That way there's less chance of the machine to build that block of ice and also less chance for the machine to leak Freon. What happens is the ice will build up and it separates all these little fins in there, pushes them apart a little bit, and that causes a little Freon to leak out. Those little pieces and whatnot, they come back together and seal. And then over and over of doing that thousands of times, all your Freon is then gone. You move the sensor to the front and it keeps that from separating and keeps the machine lasting a long time. It's the worst possible location, so way to go LG on making a terrible dehumidifier. And of course, none of the companies make these machines serviceable. Well, this thing been running for 10 minutes and it just finally shut the machine off. And we can see the ice block is melting. That is not enough performance to fill the bucket with water and properly dehumidify a basement. As Mongo suspected, just not enough refrigerant in that machine left for it to perform well. Now this is a very old machine because it still says it's using R22 refrigerant and they haven't used that refrigerant in machines in a long time. Do not see a manufacturer date on here. We as a society really need to get these manufacturers to make proper dehumidifiers. They should really be designing these things for longevity. In Mongo's mind, if your dehumidifier doesn't last 20 years, it's trash. But yet somehow all these companies that make them can claim that they're green companies, carbon neutral, whatever, when us consumers have to modify your machine to make it last longer. You cannot be a green company if your machine is only designed to last a couple of years. So Mongo challenges all you manufacturers who make dehumidifiers. Let's face it, your product is trash until you can make one that lasts 20 years without any problem. It's a basic machine, an electric motor for a compressor. It's a sealed gas system, electric motor for a fan. That's it. They should last 20 years, no problem.
You're not a green company. You make a garbage product, and you're just a bunch of greedy guys. Unacceptable. Well, hopefully this video helped you. If you got a dehumidifier that's not making water, and you wanted to figure out why, it's pretty easy to open them up, and you can see what's working, what's not working. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. Mongo, thank you.